<clears throat> Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Today's plan, well, is from yesterday. My mom calls me. She's like, I found this couch that I want to get because she wants a new couch. I don't know how long has she had her couch for? Maybe like 10 years. I don't know, something like that. She's like, I want a new couch. Okay, blah, blah. She sends me a link. I'm looking, or she's like FaceTiming me, showing it to me on her iPad. I'm like, this is the exact same couch I showed you like three months ago. She's like, oh, I spent all day looking for couches. I'm like, all right. I only showed it to you already. <laughs> well, okay, we tried to buy it online. It's from Macy's, and I feel like Macy's is closing. Is it closing? They're... All their couches, which are like real leather, they're like, originally they look like they're like $4,000. They're like half that price. And it's this like, I'll link them below if I, if, they're, if I can find it. But it's like, there's a chase and the whole thing like is a reclining type couch. But it's not like those ugly recliners, like it's fairly sleek. Um, and I'm considering getting one. Also, because here's the thing, as much as I love having a beautiful couch and as much as it like visually is like great for your home or for photos or whatever, uh, I spend most of my time on the couch. I mean, if you live either alone or I don't know, I feel like a lot of people eat in front of their TV, right? So the couch gets the most use and I need it to be comfortable. So we're gonna have to have this, try and find this like happy medium between like comfortable, but still looks pretty good. If you guys have any options, let me know. I kind of want to get like a cognac slash saddle colored couch because the house is very, very light, obviously. I want it to go quite light and quite warm in the whole house. So the couch, even though I love having a white couch, I have one right now. I wear so much black that where I sit, it just, it's black. Like not black, but you know, like it's stained, like a darker color. So I always end up putting like a blanket under it or over it or whatever. So in the last vlog, I had talked about Sumo a lot and how he was being very like needy and extra. And everything you guys said was totally valid. I hope it didn't sound like I was gonna get rid of him. I was just irritated with him. And I know it's because I'm not home. He was doing so good with training, like we were doing so well until work picked up and it was just like, I never saw him. Like I would come in, I would come home and check on him. Like I wouldn't leave him the whole day. Like if I was gone for 12 hours, he would not be alone for 12 hours. I would check on him. And sometimes I bring him back to work with me. Um, there is a doggy daycare right down the street, like on like where I work. So we have to go for an interview. So, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll do great. <laughs> um, but yeah trust that that is already like scheduled into the plan um, either this week probably this week I think this week I'll have some time and um, yeah I mean surprise surprise he does so much better on the weekends when I'm with him <sighs> the weather is so nice we don't need to wear jackets anymore guys Trader Joe's two Pala paneer, two of the paneer, tikka masala, carrot cake cookies, the lacy cookies, dark chocolate almond. These are delicious. These are candy. Triple ginger snaps. This is really good. I've gotten this before. The mushroom ravioli and truffle sauce. Brown rice penne pasta. Got saltwater taffy. The yellow jackfruit curry with jasmine rice. This is the cauliflower gnocchi. Have you seen any Trader Joe's account that does not have this right now? I mean, seriously. Arugula pizza. Another one of the pestos. This is so good. And I've got the sweet corn, burrata, and basil. And this is back, so if you guys are like me and eat this also like candy, buy it and freeze it. I have three containers here. Good morning. Okay, let me share this with you. I brought this in the car because I got these maybe last week. And um, they're just the iPhone cords, but the durable, good kind. So I found, I've bought like tons, right? Either whether, well, I usually get them off Amazon. I'll link these below. I don't know what the, the brand says, Puridia, but I don't know. They're like an Amazon recommended one. So they're rubber and then Right here, this is all coiled. So I was doing that hack where you like take apart a pen and then you, you know, wind it into your thing. Um, 
that was very descriptive. <laughs> but anyway, I got to get to go four or five pack of these. And I'm very excited because first of all, Sumo I think is kind of over that chewing phase of the cords. But see, is it working? Yay! Okay. You would think I would have had that figured out, you know, by now. I feel like every time I want a cord in the car, I'll like pull one from the house or the office. But then I never actually buy one for the car. So this time I, it was like a four pack or something. So I put one in the office. I put one with my iPad where I do my makeup in the morning. All set. But they're so good. So I want to recommend them to you because I'm positive that we all have the same issue where our iPhone cords are breaking at like the point where it connects. Because we all know it's, it's, a, it's on purpose, right? They do it on purpose. Guys, these donuts are so stinking good. This is like, I don't know, this is my second bag. I mean, it's my third bag technically. But usually when I look at snacks, I try to see like, okay, these are all the donuts. Which one looks like it's like the most sold out? You know what I'm saying? Like which one has like one bag? And it was these and I bought one and I like inhaled it in like a weekend. Um, so if you guys haven't tried these, these are good. I also got the Tasty Cake Lemon Powder. Those are as you would expect, but like the texture of the donut is quite good. I think that Tasty Cakes, is it Cakes? Tasty Cakes does really good kind of like store-bought version pastry bakery things. Hey guys, okay, so vlogged a little bit this week, feeling more on top of things. Things feel slightly more normal, albeit still busy, but not to the point where like, you know, it's like every day, 12 hour days. That was... That was a bit much. Maybe that's a slight exaggeration, but close enough. Okay, so talk about skincare, hair care, some makeup things. Let's see how much we can condense into, I don't know, I'm hoping not to make this more than 15 or 20 minutes because the other part of the vlog was maybe like 10 minutes already, I think, so let's go. All right, first up, we have the Clarins Hydra Essential Moisturizing Reviving Eye Mask. Now, basically when we're gonna review all these products, I'm gonna like list the claims and I'll let you know if I think that they deliver for me. So you get 30 milliliters of product for an eye cream or eye mask or any kind of under eye product. I think that 30 milliliters is an extremely generous amount of product. You typically get 15 milliliters from what I've seen. And then for even more expensive brands, seven milliliters. So it just, it's really determined by what the brand has decided to give you and what they've decided to charge you. In this case, you get a very generous amount of product. I would say this is the best for people who are younger, i.e. maybe in your teens or early 20s. Um, it also, of course, depends on your skin type. If you have a drier skin type, you probably don't wanna go for this unless you have like that combination where you kinda have oily under eyes, but then you have a dry face skin. I think that would also work. I say all that because this sinks in very quickly. So if you are someone that needs something like that, either because of your skin type or because you find that your concealer creases or that your eye makeup smudges and you think it's because of your skincare, not necessarily the makeup products. So I've tried this for about a week. I've had it for about a month, but I've only used it for about a week because I could determine that it wasn't really for me. I think if you use it during the day as your day eye cream, a lot of people can enjoy it. For me, it doesn't work at night. I can't really depend on this to make me feel very hydrated in the morning because even though I don't have fine lines and I don't have like dark circles, I've been getting a good amount of sleep lately, but at my age, I do need a lot of hydration and this, it sinks in very quickly and then I can apply another layer and again, it just sinks in. So for me, I probably, it's also a preference thing because I like a very, I don't want to say greasy under eye, but like I really like a lot happening down there. So uh, I recommend this to those people with the skin types that I describe, but it's not necessarily for me. I also have like normal to dry skin, which is another reason why this just doesn't give me what I need. However, if you do enjoy Clarence products the way I do, I highly recommend the Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate if you are, I don't know, maybe late 20s, early 30s, in your 40s. It is so good. <laughs> okay, next we have the number seven instant results purifying heating mask. Have you guys ever seen a heating mask that I did not like? I like, if it heats up, I think what Biore came out with them maybe like 
I don't know, like I feel like it had to be at least, at least 10 years ago, but those had like salicylic acid and they were more for like acne treatment. This one, let me read you the claims and I'll let you know what I think. Deep pore cleansing for invigorated and healthy looking skin. It's open. It's supposed to open your pores, effectively dry out impurities for a deep pore cleansing action. And you're supposed to feel cleansed, moisturized, shine free, healthy appearance. Okay, so I have used this twice. And usually I would use something much more, but I know that this didn't work for me because there's dimethicone in it. And while I have always found that my skin tends to not have any allergic reaction or even just negative reaction or irritated reaction to skin products, my skin hates dimethicone. It just, it, it, my pores just get angry and clog up and say like, stop. So. Dimethicone is the third ingredient on here, and then there's another ingredient, and there's just, there's a lot of silicones in this. So, I will say this, if you love heating products, you can try it. However, if you are like me and very, very sensitive to dimethicone, I wouldn't recommend this because your skin will reject it. However, if you're fine with that, you will love this. If you love a heating mask, because this, because of all the silicones in it, once you apply it, it feels amazing because it has that, that thermal heating action so you'll love the experience of it and once you remove it your skin is so smooth like if you're someone that doesn't want to use a, a face primer in the morning cleanse your face and pop this on you know walk around make your coffee have some breakfast like seriously it will feel like your skin is like perfectly evenly primed so i would absolutely recommend this to you if you are not sensitive to silicones guys cosmetics this is their Purity Clean Exfoliating Cleanser. Actually, first let me do this. We have been talking about the Cosmetics Opti Crystal Liquid Crystal Eye Serum. This is my second bottle. The first bottle is cut up and in my empties. This is my third bottle. This one I haven't cut up yet. You know, I'm just kind of like being lazy because this is easier. Guys, I swear to you, I honestly, part of it could be genetics, but I 100% as far as skincare goes, want to attribute my under eyes to this. It is amazing. And I've reviewed it for you guys, I've talked about it a lot, but it's in a tube, it's kind of this iridescent color. When you apply it to your under eyes, you get more of kind of this like greenish yellow reflect. It taps into your eyes, it's beautiful, it hydrates, it plumps, it just makes everything amazing. Referring back to the original product I was gonna to talk to you guys about. The Cosmetics Purity Clean Exfoliating Cleanser. This stuff is green and it's very refreshing. I love it. There's 5% lactic acid. There is, I think, peppermint oil and tea tree oil. All things that I really like. If you don't like oils, maybe this is not for you, but my skin loves it. It uh, doesn't have a bad reaction to oils like that. This stuff, I know it's a cleanser, but I will like keep it on as a mask. I'll leave it on for maybe like three minutes before I go in the shower or sometimes I'll apply it and I'll go in the shower and do other things and kind of let the heat from the shower kind of I don't know open up my pores and hopefully that this works better but I feel like whenever you do something like that you have to gauge your skin's tolerance for these kinds of acids because it could irritate your skin so kind of monitor that so you have to shake it before you use it but I don't find that it's 100% necessary I think it's just certain products or brands suggest that in case there's some separation has occurred but it says 10 minutes for a mask but I found that I'm someone that uses a lot of glycolic acid so maybe my skin's just not used to lactic acid I have to like work up a tolerance or build up a tolerance to this but I absolutely love it your face will feel clean it will feel cleansed it will feel glowy or look glowy so because this is not a physical exfoliant when you use it over time, you will notice that your blackheads are less evident. And as far as whiteheads go, I don't get those as often, but I would think it would improve it also because it's like turning over your skin. So again, there, <laughs> I just love cosmetics as a brand. So I love the sunscreen I use from them. I, I'll list this below, the sunscreen and the eye cream. Those are like highly, highly recommended by me. Okay, to kind of switch it up a bit, we're gonna talk about hair. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Ooh, okay, this is the one I have in my shower. This is my backup. 
and this is the one that was sent to me actually the clarins the cosmetics and the number seven those were all sent to me for review just want to put that out there it's always in the description box but okay so i bought these and i had shown these to you was it maybe two months ago two or three months ago i know there was a bit of a lag in vlogging last month so I was going to follow up with you, but of course when a brand's gonna send it to you, I'm more likely to follow up with you because then I'm like reminded to follow up with you. <laughs> so let's talk about this because I absolutely love it. First of all, when I read reviews about this on Sephora, people will talk about how they don't like the smell. I really don't know how you don't like the smell because to me personally, you know how like smells are like a very, like very personal and specific thing, but it kind of, it mildly reminds me of Thin Mints and a little bit of like, like a toothpastey vibe, but like all in like the best way possible. Like I really, really love this. Well, first of all, let me show it to you. Might as well show you. So that's, this is the one that's in my shower. So it's like, I would say it's like 40% left in here. And I use a very small amount. I would say I use the size of like an, well, not an egg, half an egg, half an egg size, like the smaller eggs. So I take it onto my hands and I concentrate it into my scalp. I'll take some and I'll just kind of like apply it. You know how like when you apply a foundation, you like dot it on your face? Well, I apply it and I like dot it into my scalp, right? And then I go in and I really focus in on like different areas where I feel like either there's like more buildup from like dry shampoo and then the rest, I just kind of like smooth onto my hair. I, I try to use very little because I want to conserve what's in here. So let's go through the claims. It says, I have like notes here. If I keep looking down, I'm sorry if it ever looks choppy, but like I try to keep notes as I'm using products. So it says detoxes. I do agree. It definitely cleans root to tip. Soothes. Yes. The oils, the coconut oil in here definitely when paired with the charcoal, it just creates a like, very happy balance. The environment is like very healthy feeling for me. On top of that, it, it's calming to my hair. I, I don't know how to explain that, like how to explain my hair's feelings, but it's calming and I also feel like my scalp is less irritated as in like, I just noticed myself like itching my scalp less. You know how sometimes you just itch your scalp and you don't even think about it? I've noticed that I don't do that as much. And I've been using this, like I said, for two to three months at this point and then it claims to hydrate and i also um yes about that it's it hydrates but it's not oily it's not like the coconut oil in, in here sits in your scalp or or on your hair uh, because either way that's not great because then other products that you apply can't perform as well so based on all of its claims, I absolutely recommend this to you. So, so on top of that, I also wanted to go through things that I personally experienced while using this product. One of my main concerns in the past few years has been hair loss. I've been talking to you guys about it a ton. So with this product, when I use it, I feel like because it's cleansing my scalp and exfoliating my scalp, I feel like it is allowing like the baby hairs or new hair to grow better because there is a healthier environment. It's like fostering growth. Personally, I find that. Next up, I color my hair every month. I also find that because it feels so cleansed and because I'm like removing so much from my hair, I feel like my hair color applies more even. I also feel like my hair color lasts longer. Even though I'm using this exfoliating shampoo on a weekly basis, I still feel like my hair color lasts longer. After I use the shampoo, I also find that when I use my conditioner, it feels insanely good. Like whenever you put conditioner in your hair, it already feels really, really smooth, right? But when I apply conditioner after using this shampoo, it is a beyond experience. It feels so smooth it feels like i can't, can't even put it into words it just feels so amazing like it's like the silkiest feeling ever and then on top of that i also feel my conditioner is working even better than it usually does which is you know double whammy super plus plus. and then lastly for me this is more a more personal thing where if you have hair like mine it's dry it's coarse this only the day that i use this and maybe the day after it feels so soft. Like my hair never feels soft. It might like look pretty or shiny or whatever, but I promise you when you touch it, it just it doesn't feel the way it looks. It feel it's very dry feeling. It's very coarse. I don't really use any kind of like 
I don't need to use products to make my hair stay. So like when I curl it, it just stays. I don't have to like use too many products to maintain a style because it's so dry and coarse. So when I use the shampoo, it feels so awesome for like day one. <laughs> I mean, and then it reverts back to how it feels. But like for one day, I get to feel like really great about my hair. It feels really bouncy. It feels really light. It just feels so good. So I cannot recommend this to you enough. It's so good. There's a promo code. I will link it below for you guys or like list it below for you guys and then link the product so that you can check this out too. It's sold at Sephora. Uh, if they have a website, I will also link it below for you guys. It's just, I love it so much. I'm very excited to try out their other products. Um, I think there's a dry shampoo that's not a spray, if I remember correctly, that I'm, I'm gonna look into. But those are my reviews. Um, let's keep on going. This is the It Cosmetics Miracle Water Anti-Aging 3-in-1 Glow Tonic Skin Brightening Anti-Aging Skin Softening. You guys know how much I love cleansing waters. This one I picked up during their friends and family sale and then I think Ebates, was it Ebates or, yeah, it had to be Ebates. For Friday the 13th, they were doing like 13% cash back. So I got this for a really, really excellent price and I really like it. The bottle is obviously very fun. It's like pink, you have this kind of like, um, like rainbow film in the background to give it like a really beautiful look but i would recommend this to you and i'm recommending this to you as someone that is a diehard user of the kagendo cleansing water which is quite expensive so really love this and they also sell a travel size which is also great because i'm going to be traveling soon more skincare things i'm grouping these together because i picked them up off of rue la la guys i love rue la la no tax i also purchased the annual like free shipping subscription. I think this year it dropped to like 30 or 35 dollars, which for me is an excellent deal. If you shop from a website frequently, paying 30 to 35 dollars for annual free shipping is an excellent deal and extremely cost efficient for me because I love shopping on that website. So the first thing I picked up is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. I really love my high-end exfoliators. I love this one. I also really, really love the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. And maybe third place, hmm, the Lancer. The, their polish is pretty good, but I really, really like this one. It's very fine. It's very grainy. I have like two or three like tubes, like deluxe samples that I've been going through. I, I have, for years, I've like subsisted off of samples, and I finally just picked this one up off of Rue La La because. The price, I don't know, is it like 80 bucks original price? But then on um, La La, it was like 40. I don't, I don't remember, but it was, had to get it because it's really, really good. The next two items are from Ren. This is the Bioretinoid Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate Oil. I have had my eye on this for at least two years. No, maybe longer, maybe three years. I just didn't pick it up because I wasn't as well versed in using oils on my skin until the last maybe couple of years. And then I've always loved retinoids and retinol, etc. I think there's nothing better you can do for your skin. If you're about to try skincare, try something with a retinol or a retinoid. Like, just ease into it. Like, you're gonna love it. It's gonna, you're gonna see very fast changes. Now, with this, I don't know if it's because I've just used a lot of, like, retinol products, but I did love it and I'll continue to use it, but I wasn't like wowed by it. It feels amazing, it looks amazing, but I could just be have just been so adjusted to how my skin reacts that I haven't been like, oh my God, buy it, you know what I mean? If I would say if you haven't used a lot of those kind of products and you try this, you might see like some immediate beautiful change. This next one is from also Ren. It's their Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I have picked this up because a lot of people say that it's similar to the Drunk Elephant Sukari Baby Facial, which I actually picked up in a set from Sephora. Um, we'll talk about that later. And I tried this out and it's definitely, like I'm someone that has started using a lot more glycolic acid in the past year or two so my skin still is like kind of building up a tolerance to it so this i definitely felt i put this on i put it on for about what is the recommended time it says 10 minutes i probably left it on for like seven minutes before i was like okay i'm not gonna like further irritate my skin because you can feel it and this is pretty awesome now you know we don't use like retinols and glycolic acids together not because there's going to be some kind of adverse reaction but because they kind of cancel each other out a little bit so if i'm using a retinol 
uh, at night then during the day you know I'll wear whatever and then I'll skip and then I'll do this so you can't like I wouldn't like use this on my skin and then use this on top of it you know for an evening skincare routine but I would recommend these to you if you're interested in trying them and again I got them off of Rulala such a great site highly recommend also I picked up another of the Sicily bronzers Sicily bronzer also from Rulala this is one of my favorite bronzers the one I have I've had for maybe a few years and it's a little dead <laughs> I'm still using it though um, and I've been using it as eyeshadow a lot but I just wanted to get a fresh one because this is quite expensive and on Rula La it had to be at least half the price so camera may have cut out I'm sorry uh, but yes love this Let's talk about some PR uh, like makeup PR this is from amazing cosmetics this is the illuminate eye primer and mine is in the shade warm peach there's not much color to it but I will say this this is phenomenal. If you are someone that has trouble blending your eyeshadow or if you have just issues finding a really great eye primer, this is so smooth. When you apply this, everything, anything that I apply on top of this, just blend it out so easy, so quickly. So I would say like, obviously you don't need this, but if that is your main issue when it comes to eyeshadow, I highly, highly recommend this. I also recommend the Hydrate Concealer from them. I am on like my fourth tube. It is so good. I actually have it on my under eyes today. So yes, this and the Hydrate Concealer. ELF is always so generous. They send over package maybe once a month. Sometimes I get to it, sometimes I don't. Uh, but this month, oh, these are the Prismatic Lip Glosses. These are so good. And I'm talking about these because I just love all the e.l.f. lip products, the e.l.f. lip oils, the lip lacquers. If you are someone that's just like, I feel like buying a whole bunch of lip products and trying them out, try the e.l.f. ones because they're so good. Uh, this one is in Amethyst and this one is in Rose Quartz. I'm so excited. They've started putting like labels on the actual product. Very exciting. So these are a little, I would say, they're super kind of metallic looking but they're just glosses and they're very smooth you see glitter you see glitter but you don't feel glitter i wore this amethyst one yesterday on top of like probably just like a lip balm and it faded so beautifully it wasn't like this there wasn't like random sparkles like here or there it was like a very even amount of sparkle and it faded off and it wasn't drying so you can see amethyst and then rose quartz they're so gorgeous Maybe we'll put rose quartz on today because I've already worn amethyst. I'm starting to look really slutty right now. Uh, so pretty. They also sent over these eyeshadows. Um, they're the chromatic eyeshadow palettes. There's Posh Peacock and Birds of Paradise. This is what their boxes look like. I feel like I remember seeing these on Instagram, but I don't remember when. I feel like it was a really long time ago, and so I'm kind of looking at these, like when did they release these? So this is Posh Peacock. I think the, the color selection here is really pretty. I haven't tried these yet, and I don't really plan on it. I feel like I'm gonna do a, like give them away, because I, guys, the amount of eyeshadow I have been buying in the past probably since January. I don't even know when was the last time I shared like tons of makeup with you guys. Probably slightly before the VIB sale. We need to do like full on makeup, but like this one is really gorgeous too. It's called Bird of Paradise. And again, I'm probably not gonna touch this. I'll just give it away. Um, the color selection here is beautiful. Lastly, some pixie items. Guys, the last like, I got that big PR box with like that collab with like Chloe Morello, Dulce Candy and Whaley? That was really great. There were like so many great products in there. This time they sent over a box just full of eye products, eye pencils, mascaras. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the things. The mascara obviously not waterproof so I'm not gonna test it. I'm just gonna give it away. But they had this I Define Waterline Pencil. I have it on today. I've been using it a lot. It's one of those like wider, flatter eye pencils that you can just like run right in your lash line and in your waterline. I feel like there's like two versions of this. There's the ones that are super, super thin, right? And they're like, oh, it's so like microscopic and you can, you know, and then they have the ones like this that are like really flat and wide and then are really smooth. 
I love both. I feel like obviously these are easier to use and this one is a really good one. So I would recommend this to you. And then there's a couple eyeliners. I've loved their eyeliners for forever. There's a double-ended one that I had and then I picked up one that was kind of like a brownish color. I think these are like newer shades and then there are a whole bunch of like kind of purples that I'm like not going to open because we just, we're, I'm just trying to not just open things to swatch them. That's just like, and then not just just to review you know what i mean like i'm trying to just use and open the things that i'm gonna use okay so this one is in the shade matte mulberry there's a 24 month shelf life on these that's kind of great and then which is kind of like you know it's like a matte berry like an, a great alternative to brown and then this one i'm so obsessed with i have it on my lower lash line like waterline it is in the shade rose glow it's like kind of a dark metallic, guys. So you can use it kind of like dual purpose. You can use it to brighten your eyes. That's like the glitter from the e.l.f. glosses. Or you can use it with a smoky eye and kind of like what I did. And it just, well, obviously the black kind of has transferred to the bottom, but it just, it gives your eyes just kind of this like slight grungy metallic glimmer, which I really love. And their eyeliner is just fantastic, so highly recommend. And then another item I tried that I really liked is the Black Lacquer Lash Primer. Love it. Like, it's a really beautiful lash primer. It lengthens, it separates, and that's all it does. Because <laughs> uh, obviously, as a primer, you're not having it like, it's not going to perform like a mascara. But I think, I personally think that if you have like medium to excellent lashes you could just use this alone and you would really love it because it's very very black so when i use it it makes my lashes more defined because it's dark and it also separates them like separates them so beautifully that they look very fanned out so recommend this oh my god this is like i almost forgot to, there's like so many products here i almost forgot to describe this to you drunk elephant guys drunk elephant sent me a package i was like what you know like when certain brands there's just certain brands i guess it's all personal preference but when certain brands are like hey we're gonna send you a package you're like who do you know who what like like i don't know like if hourglass were to send me makeup i'd be like oh i would just like you know what i mean or like there's just certain brands that like really like you, you like love certain brands so much that you're like oh my god so i've never tried anything from drunk elephant that i don't like so this was very exciting something else that i picked up during the sephora vib that i mentioned before is like it was like a sephora kit and the main reason i picked up that kit was because the uh sukari baby facial was in there and i was just like i need to try this because everyone talks about it and there are a lot of brands that people talk about and you're like no 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 but drunk elephant is one of those ones that is consistently spoken so highly of and about that i'm just like obviously now this item I have tried before. This is the Virgin Maria Luxury Facial Oil. I've had samples. I've had like deluxe. Like I bought like those little duos that have enough for you to use for maybe like a couple weeks. And I love it. And I haven't repurchased it because I have so much skincare. And there's just so many other oils I was using. But guys, I'm telling you, this has, this is like, this is pretty holy grail. I watch Gothamista. If you guys don't watch her, she's excellent. And she compared this to, I think, The Ordinary. And she said while The Ordinary was really good, you could tell just through the review, she was just like, guys, this one. The way this, this oil feels so lightweight. And I know a lot of people say that about a lot of different oils, but like, this just literally feels so different in your fingers, on your face. It just, the, there is this experience that is associated with this. And then the other item is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum, 12% AHA BHA. For the past week, I've been using this every single night. And like I said, I've been using glycolic acid for the past couple years, maybe more so a year and a half, and I've just been loving it. I think if you have never used a glycolic acid before, maybe work your way up slowly. They suggest mixing these two, which I did the first day just to be safe, but I think at this point my skin is quite used to glycolic acid, so I apply this first sometimes and like and then I feel the tingle just a little bit and then I'll apply this on top. But I like just for ease, I will combine the two. So one pump of this and two drops of this or one pump and then one drop, just depending on how my skin is feeling. You wake up in the morning, like, okay, forget that. When, in the, when you apply it, it, it just sinks in. This almost feels like a gel oil. It feels 
amazing just so it's they're both so lightweight they sink in um, but you can still see it on your face these are not daytime products like you will get this intense glow dewy shiny almost oily it's like amazing like i don't know for people at night who are just like no 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 well skin type wise if you have drier skin i love that like intense oily like skincare look at night and in the morning it is all sunken in you feel so plump so moisturized it's it's just amazing this combination now this is the proteiny polypeptide cream i use this for a couple days i used it once in, during the day and i tried it once at night i think i could have tried mixing the the marula oil in however i like to test products you know that i want them to stand alone right and this for daytime, just like and even nighttime, it, it just kind of sat on my skin. I don't know if it's something that I have to use over time to experience the benefits because I do love polypeptides. Uh, but this, I wasn't. It might just be an all around good moisturizer, but it's not a great moisturizer for my preferences. I It sat on my skin, so because it kind of sat in on my skin, I didn't feel like makeup looked that great with it. I think it just might depend on your skin type. Uh, I know people who do like this. It just didn't really work out for me. But these two things, I cannot, I cannot say more about it. Like I just, I am so obsessed and I cannot wait to break into my Sephora VIB haul items and try out the baby facial. So there's that. I might have to do a follow up with you guys because again, I've only been using this for like a week. The other items in here have mostly been around for about a month. Okay, so that is it for this vlog and all these reviews. I hope you're not, you're still here. <laughs> anyway, thank you and I will see you guys next week.